I'm Oneja. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you guys some tips as a new um, healthcare worker or CNA. Um, there's somebody walking by, they scared me. But I'll be giving you guys some tips as a CNA or someone working in the healthcare field. These are just tips that I have learned along the way and that I have been taught or tips that I really wish um, I would have known when I first went in because they're very helpful. They were very helpful for me. So I hope this video helps you guys out. And before I let you go, I just want to say that one of the greatest tips I can give you out of all of those that I gave you in the video is to just be yourself. Because I know, especially in a field like healthcare, guys, we are seeing people at their most vulnerable state. We are seeing people naked. We are changing them. We are seeing people sick. We are seeing people in recovery. And this is when people are at their most vulnerable state and you have put yourself into a position to help them out. And that just shows right there that you have the heart to care. So the anxiety you feel when you're coming in, the worry you feel when you're coming in, I promise you is going to go away. Just be yourself, just be your naturally caring self and it's all gonna go good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps you out. Bye y'all, see you later. Okay guys, so my first tip is to stock your carts. Now, when I first started working as a CNA, I would forget some things when I would go into a residence room. Like for example, I would bring, you know, the sheets, I would bring the gown, everything to change them. And then I would miss something minor like a pillowcase or the top sheet. And this just is important to remember to make sure you have everything you need when you go into a residence room and everything stocked. So you can create a nice workflow and just be more organized as you're working. Secondly, guys, bring your lunches, bring your meals, bring your dinners, bring your coffee, bring anything you think you're going to want to eat because we do not need to be stacking or racking up a bill for the days we have shifts. No, ma'am. Or no, sir. And right here, you can see me studying or doing my schoolwork. And so if you are a student like me working, I highly recommend that you do night shift because it is slower and you might get some time to study. Now, right here, you see me with my water bottle. This is just to highlight that it is important to take breaks and to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and hydrating yourself continuously. Because as nursing assistants and healthcare workers, we sometimes forget to take care of ourselves. Okay, now this is one of my favorite tips because I am a skincare fanatic. Skincare is very important to me. Um, so you see me here with my toner or my glycolic acid and I'm wiping my face. I I try to do this at least four times a shift and I change my mask after I do this and y'all please take my word this has decreased my breakout so much because guys you will not even realize how much bacteria we are you know stacking on our face when we wear these masks all day so it's important to make sure you're keeping your skin clean and changing your mask throughout the shift Okay guys, so I know I said the skincare tip was my favorite, but I think this one actually is. So as I was being trained, one of the ladies showed me this and it is double or triple gloving. Now, if you are a nursing assistant or work in healthcare, you know it can become very messy very quick. And so double gloving and triple gloving has helped me so much and it saves time and it just like i mentioned earlier helps you stay in the flow as you're working because what you'll be able to see here in a second is you'll just be able once your gloves get contaminated or have some things on them you'll just be able to take off that layer and keep it moving Okay guys, so this tip once again is geared more to my night shift workers and this is just bringing an extra pair of comfortable shoes. Now, I don't recommend you wear open toe shoes like me, maybe something like Crocs, but it really doesn't matter because as soon as I hear a call light or have to go to a residence room, I just slip on back on my tennis shoes and go to the room. And if you guys are anything like me, you are always cold, so remember to bring a jacket, a cover up, or just wear long sleeves under your scrubs. Okay y'all, we are already to the last tip. And the last 
last tip has to do with charting. I was really bad at charting when I first started working as a CNA. And so I just highly recommend that you create your own schedule of when you're going to document the charts, document the vital signs, and you can even write down the times that you want to do your rounds. It's just stay organized and write things down. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helped at least one person, and I'll see y'all later.